Well, hi there and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. Thanks so much for being here today. Today we've got some core work. We're going to do some mat pilates. We're going to have some bonus stuff for those arms. Um, it's just going to be fun. So uh, water handy if you need it. And my goal is to get you stronger from the inside out. Those core muscles are so key in keeping us healthy and strong, keeping us upright, posture really nice, and to keep that gait effective and efficient and just feel good. All right. So to start, we're just going to take those arms down by our sides. We're going to reach to the sky. Uh, warming up through the spine. Right arm comes down, left arm up and over in just a couple sways. Side to side. I just want you to notice what's going on. Lower back, hips. Oh my gosh, that good stretch through the ribs. Just waking up the body and telling it, hey, it's time to get a little work in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm so happy to have you with me. Let's do one more each side. Reach to the sky and last time over to the left. Inhale, reach to the sky. Circle those arms to the back, opening up that chest. Let's do that again. Big shoulder roll up and back. Arms circle around and hands come down by your sides. Now let's reverse that big circle of those arms. How's that range of motion in those shoulders? Let's do that again. Big roll and release those hands down by your sides. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. And a roll of the head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder, just checking in. Uh, roll it back through center and over to the left. One more time each direction, roll it back through to center, noticing if there's any tension or tightness and we roll to the right. And back through center. One thing that when we work our core, we want to make sure that we are not putting too much stress in that neck. So I'll give you some cues when we get to those places to make sure it's not in your neck. Let your head be heavy coming forward. Big shoulder roll of those shoulders up and back. And let your shoulders slide down and away. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And let's whip those feet off to the left, creating like a letter Z shape. Holding on to that left ankle, right arm comes up and over, little mermaids. We take it up and over, lifting those hips if you like. Don't have to, you can keep that bottom down. Just make it as big of a movement as feels good to you. Keeping that core strong as you lift, squeeze your buns. Oh, good long stretch down that left side. Release it down, take it up and over. And up and back, lifting that left arm, reach it up and over, good stretch. And one more time, take it up and over. And once more, we lift those hips. Uh, maybe you just do a couple hip lifts, that's okay. And set your bottom back down and let's sweep it to the other side. Feet are off to the right. That right hand taking a hold of that left ankle. We take it up and over. And then that left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and over. If you like, lift those hips. Otherwise, keep your bottom down and just feel that long stretch through the ribs and the waist. Remember, this is your journey, right? Uh, taking care of yourself, being mindful, knowing what's the right space to be in today without judgment or criticism because all that does is promote negative energy and we certainly do not want that. So just be kind. Play. Make it fun. Work, but fun. One more time. Lifting those hips if that feels good to you. And release it back down. Let's turn and extend those legs out nice and long. Hands are down by your side. Sit up nice and tall. We're just going to lift that right leg and lower. Lift the left. So we're activating those quadriceps with that spine staying nice and tall, keeping those core muscles engaged, just alternating side to side, doing your best not to lean back or to hollow through the tummy or the chest. This time as you lift the right, tap it out to the side, bring it back to center and set it down. Left leg lifts, tap it out and tap it in. Again, do your best to not lean back. If you want to sit up against a wall, yep, you certainly can. 
if you want to put something underneath your ankle or your calf so it gives you kind of a visual of what you have to get up and over that's always kind of a fun little game too and just checks you to make sure that you're really working your hardest maybe you're like I don't want to work my hardest I just want to work today that's okay too you're here you're working and we're together so thanks Beautiful. Let's bring those hands forward down by the knees, sitting up nice and tall. Let's open up those feet and bring the hands to the inside. Point your toes. This time we are going to hollow out the tummy and the chest, and we're going to kind of fold forward a little bit from our hips rather than our waist. We lift and we release. It's pretty intense. We lift and release. We lift. And release two more times. Lift, release. You feel those quads? Oh, those lower abs. And release. And let's bring those legs back together, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach to the sky. Bring those hands down by your sides. Let's lean back and pull those feet in. Hands are slightly behind us. We're going to press and lift. You can come up a lot, you can come up a little and then gently release it back down again lift and release in here yep we're getting some shoulder work we're getting some arms and press getting some glutes and release one more time press it up and release this time sit up bring your hands a little closer to your bum and we're going to press it back Extending those legs, see if you can float those heels. And release, press it through and lift. Press it back, float your bum, float your heels. Press it through, press it back, float and release. One more time, press it through, press it back and float. And release. Whew, that one's a hard one. Slide on down towards the center of your mat and let's extend. Right leg out, left foot comes in. Extending those arms out to a T. Add a flex of that right foot. We turn and we reach that left fingertip or left pinky right along the pinky toe. We reach, reach, reach and come back to center same side reach taking care of that left knee reach reach and come back to center again reach 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 and come back to center two more times reach it out three times slicing right along that pinky toe and open last time reach 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 and back to center and release those arms switch left leg out right foot in arms out to a T add a flex of that left foot as you exhale turn and reach 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 coming back to center and reach that right knee not happy extend that leg out we'll meet you there in just a second reach 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 and back to center two more times reach 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 back to center once more you feel that in your shoulders i love it when you get bonus stuff going on and reach and release let's extend both legs out uh flex those feet and point and flex and point one more time flex and point now let's flex those feet keep them flexed and breathe extending those arms out to a T this time we do it with the legs long we reach out three times can we reach any further probably so now that those knees aren't bent and there's not that stress on those knees alternating sides three reaches and back to center three reaches and back to center one more time and back to center and reach and back to center and release those arms down by your side let's get a little flexibility in here while we're at it digging that right arm up and over left arm along the inside of your leg rolling that right shoulder back turn your gaze to the sky 
find your breath. Inhaling it up, switching sides, right arm down, left arm up and over. Reaching, 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 rolling that left shoulder back. And inhale it up. Let's sweep that left leg around and we turn, coming to our boat pose, supporting behind those thighs. So we've got a little movement here. Breathe, and we've got a little series of boat. Love boat pose, because it works your entire body. Releasing those hands, if you like, if you need the support, keep the support. Bring the knees to touch, and flex your feet. Lifting the shins, if you like. What happens with those feet flex? Well, let's soften them and see. What do you notice in the legs? Flex them. More active, keeping those knees together. Breathe, just extend the legs, and bend extend and bend. You don't have to extend them all the way. Just a little tiny extension just fires up those muscles a little differently. So do what's right for you. Find your edge, challenge yourself. Keep that belly button drawn in and bent. One more time, extend and bend. This time we're gonna take it to the right and come over onto that right hip, stacking those hips, lifting out of that right shoulder, allowing those feet to just hover and roll it back to boat. We roll to the left, lifting out of the left shoulder. Legs are hovering, feet are hovering. We pull it back to boat. We roll to the right, firing up those obliques, coming all the way over onto that hip and back to boat. To the left and back to boat. So what happens if those legs are like, wow, I'm way too heavy. I can't get those feet to hover. Lower that bottom leg. See if you can lift the top and then come back or leap. Both legs can come down. We're still working guys, but we're getting stronger according to where our body is. We're not going to force things. We're going to embrace the fact that we can move, that we're aware that we are mindful of how our body is responding. Can you feel those obliques? I sure can. And roll. And back one more time each side. To the left. And back through the boat. Let's take it to the right. And we're going to go ahead and come over onto that hip. We're going to let the legs come down and breathe. Let's lift those feet and slide them slightly forward to a little bit of a piked position. We're going to come up onto that elbow. If that is not great for your shoulder, I invite you to come all the way down and rest your head. That top hand is just there for support. We're going to lift the top leg. We're going to lift the bottom leg to meet the top. We lower the bottom leg. We lower the top. We lift, lift, lower, lower. Point those toes. Lift, lift, lower and lower. Your pace. Breathe. Working those inner and outer thighs. Work in the core. Stay in stable. Upper body's not moving. We're doing our best to stay up on that hip. And just breathe. Last one. Now we're going to work to lift both legs at the same time. Lift and lower, lift, and lower. You do you. If you need to stick with that individual leg, stick with that. We're getting stronger through the pelvic girdle, through those inner and outer thighs, keeping that core strong. Breathe. One more. We're going to add on. We're going to take that right arm or that top arm up and over. And then as you exhale, we lift and we lower, we lift, and we lower. If you're like, wow, both legs won't come, lift the top leg, and lower, and lift, and lower. Three more times, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. One more time, hold it, whether it's a single or both legs. Those legs can be heavy, and lower. Roll it over onto your back. Pull those knees in nice and tight. Breathe. Rock it side to side. So we've got the other side to do. So just listen to your body. 
whether you need to be up on your shoulder or down onto your side. Coming over onto that left side. So if you're up on your elbow, just make sure that you're lifting out of that shoulder and you're not sinking in nice and tall. We lift those legs, bringing them slightly forward to that pike position. You decide what's right for you, up or down. We lift that top leg, lift the lower leg, lower and lower, lift, lift, lower, lower, lift, lift, lower, lower just keep it up uh, how does that feel on this side keeping that belly button drawn in how much pressure are you having to put on that top arm on those fingertips two more and then we're gonna do both legs again you can stay with those individual legs if you like keeping that up up down down or both up and lower both up and lower up so those legs get heavy all good if you need to do a couple with both legs and then you need to go back to that individual perfect this is your time to gain strength to gain mobility to check in to challenge yourself all right are you ready let's take that top arm up and over oh uh, here we go and lift and lower and lift and lower maybe it's one leg at a time and it's just that top leg that's perfectly fine maybe it's up onto that elbow or forearm maybe you come all the way up onto your hand whatever it is that's what it is today we have three more firing up those obliques mindful of where the body is one more time do your best to hold it hold it hold it hold it hold it and release roll it over onto your back oh that feels good pulling those knees in let's place that right foot to the mat and then the left feet are down by your um, bottom hands down by your sides breathe so our options are to keep both feet on the ground we're gonna do a few like that and then adding an intensity if you like as you exhale, press to your heels and lift and lower. Inhale. Exhale, press and lift and lower. Again, press and lift and lower. If you like, extend your right leg out. As you lift, lift the leg. As you lower, lower the leg. Press and lift and lower press and lift make sure that your body says yep this is the right place to be otherwise both feet are tucked up by your bum and work in that bridge pose lift and lower one more time lift and lower pull that right foot in extend your left leg out lift and lower so what if we can't lift that left leg as high as we lift the right all good go to your potential where it's right for you being mindful of that right knee not flaring out to the side and really firing up those glutes we have two more and last one and pull the feet in extend one leg to the sky and then the other breathe let's extend those arms out to a T we're gonna lower the right leg and then lift let's lower the left leg and lift so doing our best to keep the leg that's up top pointing to the sky not wavering not moving other leg yeah it's just going as low as feels right to you so it's about knowing where our body is in space and being able to maintain that space one more time each side making this the last and back together so both feet together as low as you can go and if it's an inch it's an inch if you can lower and keep the small of the back down lower down and lift and lower so this is your movement this is your time 
This is experimenting and playing. This is challenging, but being real. This is about celebration of your body, being able to manage the weight of your legs. This is about gaining core strength. This is not a competition. This is just your time to create a better version of yourself, a stronger version of yourself. One more time, let's lower and let's lift. Flex your feet. Bring your hands down by your sides. This is a little movement. This is not a big movement. This is a lift, not a rock. So we're going to lift the soles of the feet towards the sky. Towards the sky. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Three more times. Beautiful. Bend the knees. Hands behind your thighs. Rock it up your toes. Rock it back. Don't touch the back of your head. Rock it up. Don't touch your toes. Roll like a ball. Breathe. Control. Keeping those knees in nice and tight. One more time. Breathe. Hold your boat. Release those arms. Let's open and close those knees. Opening and closing, just little clamshells. Work in the inner thighs, outer hips, core. If your lower back is talking to you, really make sure those core muscles are engaged and strong. Opening and closing, butterflying those knees. Breathe. Two more. Last one. Now butterfly those knees, soles of the, or the outside edge of your feet to the mat, and just hinge it over. Butterfly, stretching out that lower back. Mmm, feels so nice. Starting at your tailbone, slowly roll it up. Slide those feet out and away from you just a little bit. Extend those arms, and ever so slowly, take it back. Go as slow as you can. Ah, oh, that feels good. And let's roll to our side. Doesn't matter which side. And again, we're just going to rest that head right against the arm. The top arm is there for support. We bring the insteps of our feet together. Knees are bent slightly forward. And we open and close. We do our best to stay up on that hip. Just opening and closing our clamshells. Breathe. Core is staying strong and engaged. Working that outer hip. Great for pelvic floor. Engaging through that pelvic floor. Engaging those transverse abdominals. Breathe. Almost there. If you're starting to fatigue, fabulous. That's right where you want to be. Find your breath. Two more. Awesome. And let's switch sides. You can roll. You can flip. Whatever feels good to you. Come on down. Resting onto that arm. And again, knees are slightly forward. Insteps of your feet touching. And we open and close. You might notice if you have more range of motion on one side, if you feel a little stronger on one side, and we just open and close. And you might notice that you've already pre-fatigued this side a little bit. All good. Just getting stronger. When we feel fatigued and we keep going, that's when we get stronger. Can you still smile? <laughs> if you're like, nope, it's okay. Close your eyes, dig deep. We're almost done, you guys. Big, full, deep breaths. Just relax in that top arm. It's just there to keep you steady so that you're not rocking back and forth on that hip. Mm, how you doing? We got three more. Breathe. Awesome job. So nice. What's the best way to finish? I think plank. Let's take that top hand 
Uh, centering and rolling it open. Breathe. You can be on your knees. You can be on your toes. I want you to lift out of those shoulders and lengthen. So we have pre-fatigued pretty much everything. I just want you to dig deep and breathe. You start to fatigue a little bit, shift your weight. Maybe cross an ankle. Whatever you need to do. If you're shaky, that's good. That means you're working hard. Shaky is the sign of you're getting stronger. Find your breath. Do your best. Don't let those hips sag. Always better to have those hips be a little bit higher than to arch that back and let those hips sag. That sway back puts a lot of tension in that lower back. Slow your breath. Quiet it down. Your breath signals to that parasympathetic nervous system, whether it's in fight or flight or whether everything is well and good. We want to let it know that everything is just fine. We're just working hard. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Release your knees and press it back to child's pose. Amazing job. Stretching out through that lower back. Let your head be heavy. Let's bring the palms of the hands to touch. Spread your fingers wide. Bend the elbows to bring the heels of the hands to the back of the head. I hope that was fun, you guys. I hope it was a little different for you. I hope you felt all different kinds of places in your body. You feel strong, healthy, happy. And you just have an amazing rest of your day. As you're ready, extend those arms. Let's go ahead and walk those hands up. Come over onto a hip. Uh, let's sit in easy pose. Resting the hands comfortably. Take a big breath in. Press the chest forward. Arch your back. Gaze to the sky. Exhale. Hollow your tummy and chest. Press your spine towards the back. Tuck your chin. Inhale. Press it through. Arch your back. Gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow. Inhaling it back up nice and tall. Pull the hands to heart center head. Just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And again, I hope it was fun. I hope you have a great day. And I always look forward to the next time we get to be together. Until then, namaste.